This is chapter one, lecture one. I'm only going to cover this first page today, followed by a short video. So chemistry is the study of matter. And the changes that it undergoes. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies volume. So a chair is considered to be matter. Air is matter and ozone is matter. The ozone layer is found in the stratosphere and it helps to protect plants and animals from ultraviolet radiation. One type is called UVB and this is uh, what causes sunburns and in extreme cases causes skin cancer. The ozone layer is composed of the substance oxygen. When we talk about a substance, we're talking about matter that has a uniform and definite composition. There are only two things that are considered to be substances, and those are elements and compounds. So oxygen is a substance. Water is a substance because it's a compound. A chair is not considered to be a substance because it is neither an element nor a compound. Ozone forms when oxygen gas, which is O2, is exposed to ultraviolet radiation in the stratosphere. O2 is what we call a molecule because it is two nonmetals combined. Oxygen is an atom. O3 is also a molecule because it is three oxygen atoms combined. It forms mostly over the equator, ozone, where the sun's rays are the strongest. So there's the greatest chance of a reaction to happen. Although the thinning of the ozone layer is often called a hole, It is just much thinner than normal. Large scale productions of refrigerators produced a search for safe coolants. So in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, we used CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons, which consist of the elements chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. CFCs were used in plastics, foams, solvents, and propellants in spray cans. They were thought to be a great substance because it's a compound because it did not react with anything at Earth's surface. But scientists noticed that as the levels of CFCs increased in the atmosphere, the ozone layer was increasingly thinning. 
And that's it for our first page of notes, and following is a short video on the ozone layer. The stratosphere is a layer of the atmosphere extending between 11 and 30 miles from the surface of the Earth. The lower part of the stratosphere contains ozone. The ozone layer absorbs much of the incoming ultraviolet radiation from the sun. This protects land organisms from radiation's damaging mutagenic effects. Ozone is formed by the interaction of ultraviolet light and oxygen, a molecule consisting of two oxygen atoms. Ozone is a molecule consisting of three oxygen atoms. The ozone layer has begun to break down as a result of the presence in the stratosphere of chlorofluorocarbons, referred to as CFCs. CFCs were manufactured for their use in refrigeration and styrofoam production. When a molecule of CFC is exposed to ultraviolet light, a chlorine atom breaks away. This chlorine strips away an oxygen atom from ozone, reducing the ozone to a molecule of oxygen. Then the oxygen atom in the resulting chlorine compound is pulled off by an oxygen atom. The chlorine is now free to start the cycle of ozone destruction all over again. One molecule of CFC can destroy 100,000 ozone molecules.